Oh, please welcome retired General Stanley McChrystal. Thanks for joining us. It's my pleasure. Thanks, Craig. You're endorsing Joe Biden after mocking him or making dismissive remarks about him in a Rolling Stone piece 10 years ago. The article conveyed the sense that you did not agree with the Obama administration's and Biden's approach to counterterrorism and Afghanistan at the time. What changed in 10 years from then to now? Well, a lot of things have changed, but I would say first, we had policy disagreements back 10 years ago, and it's, it's fine to have policy disagreements and speak them out as we did. Uh, the, the story, the mythology of the mocking part is overblown, but, but that doesn't matter. What is important now is we're at a time in our country when the leadership we need needs to be mature, it needs to be honorable, and it needs to build a team within the nation. And I think that Vice President Joe Biden is the right person to do that right now. You're endorsing Biden then on matters of character and temperament. In terms of philosophy, in terms of policy, approach to national security, are you in alignment with Biden today more than you were 10 years ago? I'm not sure there's a difference. I'll talk about today. I'm in, in, line, uh, in alignment with Vice President Biden's position that we need to go back into the international environment. We need to rebuild alliances. We need to build trust with people, nations that we worked with for a long time. In Afghanistan, I had 46 nations in the coalition, many of which were there simply because the United States asked them to be a part of it. And so, the, uh, the consistency of the trust they can have with us, I think is critical. And Vice President Biden understands that and speaks about that. You're endorsing Biden on matters of character and temperament. President Trump will likely say he may not win awards for congeniality, but he would say he's been nominated for Nobel Peace Prize, that he's made progress in fighting ISIS, judge him by his record. How would you judge President Trump by his record? Well, my endorsement of Vice President Biden is probably one indicator of how I judge. I think that the state of our country right now, our response to COVID-19, our inability to pull the different parts of our nation together, in fact, the fact that we have drifted further apart, the fact that our national debt is higher than ever, I think there are a number of factors that are at least arguable. But what I'd say is there are a lot of policy disagreements between good people in our country, and they can be pretty distinct policy disagreements. Where I don't think we should be misaligned is on the basic value of what it means to be an American and the basic responsibility we have to other Americans for equality, for justice, for respect. And I think that's where the character part becomes so important. General McChrystal, I want to thank you for your time. Thank you so much. My pleasure, Craig. Thank you.